flight tomorrow. I'm going to Nigeria, but I am deadheading, so I am operating the flight to Nigeria, and then while we're there, we don't have a layover, we're coming right back to Dubai, but I don't have to work that sector. Coming back to Dubai, it'll be in um, business class. I've been here two years and I've never deadheaded before, so I just wanna take that off. It's probably the only time I'll fly in business. They're very strict with what we have to wear on the flight. You can't wear like what I'm doing. I'm not using the big suitcase. Um, only the small ones are also have to make sure that everything fits in there should be good one p.m. I'm just doing post-flight duties to my skin. Um, the mask that we're wearing is not doing it. I'm just breaking out around here. Um, but I know I'm not the only one who's not having the best luck with their skin because of these masks. So this flight, the whole deadheading in business class experience was such a treat. So obviously I worked the sector to Abuja and when we landed, the customers disembarked and then we also got off the aircraft and waited in the waiting area. The team who deadheaded to Abuja, they were waiting for the cleaners and the caterers to finish so that they could do their pre-flight duties. Then we boarded the flight and while we waited for the um, other customers to board, we were just having a cappuccino and yeah, then we took off. So I watched a little bit of Modern Family and then um, I I put my seat back and I slept for a couple of hours, but it wasn't a deep sleep. So when I got home, I jumped in the shower and then I took a long nap. And then tomorrow I'm going to meet my friend Christelle. She just got engaged. And uh, so we're just gonna spend some quality time together and catch up. But for now, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do some laundry. No, no, I don't have to do laundry. Don't really have a plan for the day. It's just going to be very chilled, very relaxed. <laughs> Switzerland. Oh, I'm stoked to get out of Dubai for a bit and uh, to go somewhere where it's nice and cold. I should also probably just brush up on some basic French terms uh, because a lot of people on board tomorrow will be French speakers. And you know, you can also see that people appreciate when you try to say something in their language. It's when they speak back to you where you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's all I know. So my plan for the day is to pack 
get ready for the flight and then um, I'm going to go to the store real quick to get some groceries to make um, lunch and dinner and so on for my flight as well as for the layover. <laughs> I know you were probably wondering why aren't we seeing any footage of you in Geneva drinking hot chocolates, possibly looking at snow? Well, last night I got removed from the flight. This is a normal occurrence though, like if the load is really light, then they only need three crew in economy. But um, I am hoping to be rostered a flight in the next couple of days. Um, I don't have days off, but I do have, we call it Kenya's reserve. So yeah, if they need people for a flight, then um, I'll be available so they can pull me out. But there are a ton of people who are also on reserve. So we'll see how this goes. finally have a flight. It's just a short turnaround to Dhaka, Bangladesh. I think I'm deadheading one way because there are two sets of crews, which means that we're deadheading. It's probably the only time I'll fly business. But the flight is tomorrow afternoon, so there's a long way. I've got the rest of the day, tomorrow morning to get ready and to chill and to sleep in actually so I will be well rested for the flight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, um, it is around 10 a.m. I've got coffee because coffee equals personality. I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to do my makeup, my hair, pack my bag. Uh, we are reporting in our uniform. We have to take our normal clothes, the business attire, we have to bring it with us. So we're gonna change on the plane and then um, change back into our uniforms. I don't know, it's a big thing. There's a few things that I do want to catch up on. I haven't flown for a while. Things have changed now, so I just need to catch up on that. So I'm going to go to HQ as soon as I'm ready and just sit there and just relax. So just chilling on my couch, laying around, because that's what we do these days. <laughs> so a couple of changes. I got removed from another flight, so basically my whole December roster has been changed. It would have been a six day trip over Christmas. I would have spent 48 hours in Kuala Lumpur, 24 hours in um, Auckland, New Zealand, and then back to Kuala Lumpur for another 48 hours and then back to Dubai right before New Year's. However, we're not mad that it got removed because instead they're sending me somewhere snowy. At least I think it snows. It should snow. Yes, we'll see.
Good morning and Merry Christmas from Russia. I am in Moscow and I am oh, I'm literally like a little kid on Christmas morning because snow. So I have been chosen to spread the Christmas festive cheer on board today while we head back to Dubai. I have spent my layover, it was a really short layover, I spent it in the room, I decorated and um, I did some other stuff to make it fun and, you know, Christmassy. Yesterday's flight was on an A380 and I was galley. I don't know why they thought I should be the galley, but okay. And it went all right. We all sat down once and we had to get back into the galley and serve more drinks. And today it's supposed to be a little busier, a little fuller. I think we will have more than 400 customers on board. It's gonna be good. We have snow. So running late, um, we got a call to say that the wake up time has changed and I don't know, me with times and time zones and everything, I'm late basically. But um, yeah, it was a great little layover, it was really short, like <laughs> shorter than I would have liked it to be, but it was great, I experienced snow and now I'm going to go spread Christmas cheer and festive cheer on board. Hey. 